Again, hi, I'm Dan Earnhardt with Carolina Pool and Spa, I'm going over now the mechanics of the pool inspection. Uh, inspection on uh, everything that pertains that was initially put in, added to, uh, repaired, whatever the case may be, uh, and to see how the functionality is of it. Um, in this particular case, uh, we're sort of in the dead of the winter, so this is sort of a dormant type of uh, host of equipment with the, the leaves and some debris scattered and things like that. But rather it be a pool that's closed or open, like in this particular case, you can still go through various uh, testing or mock testing if, uh, if it happens to have been a winterized type pool. Uh, but we're not uh, at that point with this particular pool. This one's uh, ready to, to perform. And what I first do is I'll uh, turn off the equipment and conduct the pool inspection first so I can see how the pool itself is in a still water type basis where you can visualize everything. Then when part two comes around where we're at, uh, I'll come over and I'll turn on the equipment and manually go through and test uh, the various uh, uh, equipment uh, one by one and then of course all together to see how uh, the sort of the eco cycle of the pool is uh, is done. Um, so the pump itself can uh, can be uh, uh, examined here, the main pool pump um, and a little booster pump it's called to propel the robot that more pools, uh, that a lot of pools do have uh, and see how uh, those things, off, how it's uh, performing for the cleanliness of the pool. And then as we go sort of downstream a little bit, it goes through uh, the filtration of the pool. And there's various types of filters that uh, need to be, uh, that could be chosen. And in this particular case, a, a good old sand filter, somewhat of a workhorse filter. And, uh, uh, but there's other types. Um, and then it zigzags through the, uh, the heater, in this case, which can uh, either heat the, both the spa and the pool together just for normal swimming uh, or uh, in this case the pool is automated where you can press a couple of buttons and isolate just the spa and, and backing up then to heat just the spa itself. Uh, that's where you take it up to uh, you know the 100 plus uh, type of temperature versus uh, swimming in something that you might want to just add a few degrees and and uh, uh, to in the 80s or so, whatever is comfortable for anybody. Um, uh, it goes through the sanitation process. I'll do things like uh, check uh, salt systems uh, as they pertain, not in this case, chlorination, uh, and then any other um, um, basically uh, features that might be added. This is sort of a uh, uh, a meat and potatoes type of equipment arrangement, but um, nevertheless, it's important for it all to to um, to work together. Um, as it pertains then to things like the automation, that will all be checked out. Control panel over here, make sure various things are uh, the electrical as it pertains to things that need to be tested uh, to safeguard any type of hazard bonding as well as GFIs, uh, all conducted as far as the inspection. And then basically, finally, um, walk the perimeter of the property, whether we're in certain counties that pertain to having uh, uh, codes and standards in terms of the height of the fence, uh, gates that will need to be self-closing, self-latching, um, as well as just to make sure that uh, there can be no uh, unfortunate uh, and, you know, uh, access to the pool, whether it be by, unfortunately, children or, or teenagers or, or pets, whatever the case may be. That pretty well summarizes everything uh, in a nutshell. Um, and, um, you know, the inspections usually take about an hour, hour and a half or so. And uh, I would hope that I'd be able to help. Again, my name is Dan Earnhardt with Carolina Pool and Spa. I've been doing this for about 15 years now.